Good afternoon, everybody. This is Fiona Beal welcoming you. I'll be your host this afternoon for the SchoolNet free webinar entitled Managing the Connected 21st Century Learner with OneNote Class Notebook. Very interesting title. Our guest speaker for today is Freddie Chereka, who is a current Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert and he's also a Microsoft Master Trainer in Joburg. Is that right, Trudy, in Joburg, hey? Who um, trains teachers in ICT integration. He has had 10 years of teaching experience, and this includes his current role as professional learning specialist at Vastrotech PD Academy South Africa, where he's in charge of technology integration in learning spaces. So Freddie has just heard that he's been selected to attend the Microsoft E2 Global Forum in Canada in March. Well done to you, Freddie. Five South African MI Microsoft Innovative Expert Educators, we call them MIEs, have been selected to attend this event, which brings together 300 of the most innovative educators from around the world to create and share their experiences on technology integration and transforming education. So this should be an amazing experience for you, Freddie. Um, we're very excited for you and for what, what you're going to experience. And we're looking forward to a report back when you return. Okay. So um, yeah. while Freddie locates his, pro his um, presentation, I'll just tell you a little bit about the webinar today. Um, Freddie, so you're going to click on stop sharing and go into your computer. So um, uh, Freddie is going to talk on the OneNote um, class notebook creator. Um, I haven't actually used this because I think your school has to be on Office 365. And my school isn't. So at my school, we use OneNote, but we don't use the, I'd love to use the class notebook creator. But um, Freddie says it's a vital tool to bring the teacher back into control as the leader of the process of learning. So in this webinar, Freddie's going to show us how to use um, OneNote class notebook creator and um, so, Freddie, you're all organized, hey? So, I think this sounds like a great tool. I'm really looking forward to hearing more about it. And shall I hand over to you? Yes, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, webinar uh, where we are going to be talking about uh, how to manage the 21st uh, century uh, Lena with the uh, OneNote uh, class notebook and um, as um, Fiona has just said uh, this is a tool that you'll be able to use um, if your school is actually on uh, Office uh, 365 and it's quite uh, simple um, so what it does is you uh, maybe many of you are using uh, OneNote uh, you notice that OneNote is quite uh, general. It's for people in business. It's people for uh, it, it's for almost everyone. But um, with the OneNote uh, class notebook, it's uh, specially designed uh, for a teacher to be uh, in control in the classroom. So uh, what OneNote uh, class notebook does, it uh, creates uh, three uh, workspaces, uh, which is an individual uh, workspace for the student and a content library for the handouts in the collaboration uh, space uh, for your lessons, your activities, whatever you want to do with the, with the learners. So um, I'm going to uh, just uh, show you how you can actually um, uh, use a OneNote class notebook. It's a very simple tool uh, and uh, quite uh, interesting to use. Okay, so um, there's actually a, a website uh, that uh, actually gives you uh, step by step, as I've just opened, uh, getting started with OneNote class uh, notebook. As I've said, uh, uh, this is available for those that are using uh, Office 365. So basically, uh, what uh, we uh, will create here, 
we have uh, three compartments. Uh, that is your student notebook, uh, which is an individual workspace for the learner. And then the content library, where you as the teacher can uh, share course material, you can add and edit the materials. You can also uh, actually give them uh, homeworks, classworks, or whatever it is, activities in the content library. So the good thing about the content library is that um, only the teacher can add and edit materials uh, for students. It's just uh, in a read-only mode. And then uh, the collaboration uh, space, uh, this is um, for learners to actually um, have discussions work around problems you know uh, do whatever they can do they're able to edit they're able to add they're able to uh, have discussions but uh, the teacher actually gets uh, um, you know uh, that opportunity to follow and comment and control whatever that will be happening in the uh, collaboration space so for you to um, uh, actually start using a class notebook you will need to uh, to have your office 365 and I've just um, uh, uh, logged in myself. Uh, we are using um, uh, Office 365 and we have a domain, uh, Teachers for Change, which we basically uh, use uh, for training teachers. So um, uh, as you can see uh, on my page there, I have uh, welcome to OneNote class notebook. Uh, I'm not so sure um, how long that this is gonna take, but uh, it will show you that um, we can actually cre uh, create a class notebook add and remove uh, students uh, so your students uh, must be part of your uh, office 365 domain and then uh, the good thing about it is that you can also have more than one teacher per, per class so you can actually add and remove uh, teachers maybe what i'm going to uh, do here uh, instead of actually uh, creating a, a brand new uh, class notebook i'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process uh, because of our time Okay, uh, so just to recap uh, what you need, uh, you need an Office 365 uh, subscription for education, uh, which also includes uh, OneDrive for business. And uh, I'm sure you can, um, uh, you know, liaise with your education, um, you know, partners. I'm sure from Microsoft, I'm sure they can help you with this. And uh, you need to have an organizational account yourself. And uh, your students must also have an Office 365 organizational account. Okay. So once you have those things, now we can uh, start. So um, uh, when you go to log in at, uh, on your Office 365, uh, after signing in, um, where you actually see your, all your, your apps, you will notice that uh, right at the bottom, um, there will be uh, that app for class notebook. It's actually different from OneNote because uh, this is actually an advancement of uh, OneNote uh, so that um, uh, one note in this case uh, can actually uh, suit the classroom scenario. So you then uh, select um, a class notebook. And after selecting class notebook, uh, you will be then um, uh, you come to this page where you now have to create your class notebook. As you can see, uh, if I go live, this is actually uh, the part that I'll, I'll, I'll come to. Okay, but uh, uh, for the purposes of this uh, webinar, I'm just going to uh, quickly uh, just show you the different uh, steps and I can share this document uh, if uh, there are people that are interested in actually uh, starting working on this and I can assure you this is quite a very, very uh, interesting tool because as the teacher, you are back in control, you can manage, you can monitor and you can actually track uh, what your learners are actually doing. Okay, so... Uh, you then have to click on uh, uh, create a class notebook and then uh, after you uh, create a class notebook you will then have to give that uh, notebook a name and uh, maybe if it's uh, mathematics for grade 10 uh, physical sciences whatever it is uh, you actually uh, then give that particular uh, class notebook and name and then as you see uh, there will be a wizard that will actually guide you uh, to uh, to actually create because then uh, your collaboration space 
your content library and your student notebooks will automatically be created uh, by that wizard, which is a very simple one. Actually, when you uh, start doing it yourself, you actually see that uh, Microsoft has made it very simple for the teachers because uh, just um, as you are actually doing this, there are videos uh, that actually guide you on what you're actually supposed to be doing. Okay, so this is where you create uh, your class. Uh, you can add a, a teacher if you are not the only teacher. Then you can add uh, your student uh, names, um, uh, preferably by your email addresses, the email addresses that they have um, using your Office 365 uh, um, uh, domain. Okay, as I've uh, stated, you are also able to actually uh, add a teacher. And then uh, you are also able to uh, add uh, students. And basically, uh, you will then be uh, using their email addresses uh, that um, uh, you would have uh, received in your Office 365 domain. Okay, this is, uh, you know, different ways of uh, actually adding your, uh, your learners. And then uh, once you have your, uh, your learners in, uh, in, 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 uh, in that particular space, uh, now you are actually able now to uh, go to the different um, uh, workplaces. Uh, like I've said in the content library, this is now uh, the section that you as the teacher can uh, now dump interactive lessons. Uh, if there are any math teachers there, uh, you can also utilize uh, GeoGebra because you're actually able to take those widgets from GeoGebra and uh, embed them in OneNote. Uh, basically, you're actually able to uh, dump interactive lessons uh, in that content library. Remember, whatever that you add in the content uh, library, um, your learners will not be able to change the content, which is very good because with um, OneNote, um, you can post, um, you know, uh, notes, materials, but um, learners that are clever can actually temper or delete uh, material that you have actually posted. So um, with the content library, uh, it's just safeguarding your content and making sure that um, your learners uh, do not temper with the content that you put in the content library. Okay. And then the next uh, space uh, that you have them uh, would be your um, uh, collaboration space. Now, in the collaboration space, as you know, that um, collaboration is one of the uh, you know critical 21st century skills. Uh, learners need to uh, you know uh, build uh, knowledge together. They need to be working, asking questions, and uh, the good thing is that they can have a discussions among themselves. And also, as a teacher, you are able to follow and monitor and uh, actually give uh, real-time feedback. Uh, I've got a maths background, so my examples are aligned to maths. So they could be solving a particular problem, and then you can uh, follow what is it that they're doing, and then you can actually give them, uh, you know, real-time uh, feedback um, while they're in the process of actually working on their own, which is actually good. And... Um, uh, obviously, the teacher has to uh, keep on monitoring what happens in the collaboration space to make sure that uh, learners uh, remain focused. Okay, so the next um, uh, work, uh, workplace there is the personal work, uh, work, workspace, which is um, depending on the number of uh, learners that you have added. Let's say you have got a very small class of 10 learners. So you will have uh, 10 uh, personal workspaces for each learner. So the good thing in this uh, workspace is that um, uh, other learners are not uh, able to see what's happening in another person's work, uh, workplace. So it's actually private. So you as the teacher, you can post, um, you know, individual work, individual tasks, like homework, service, you can post them. And then you are guaranteed that uh, your learners will uh, submit to you, uh, you know, uh, work.
Oh dear, Freddy's disappeared for a second. Uh, but I think he'll be back. <laughs> Sometimes that happens with um, Adobe Connect. You suddenly find yourself disconnected. <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Do any of you... Oh, there's Freddy back. Okay, let's just make him a presenter quickly. Welcome back, Freddie. While Freddie is getting ready, um, do any of you use this OneNote class notebook by any chance? Oh, Justin, fantastic. Okay, do you find it quite a useful product? Oh, waiting for class. I thought that classroom had been released for some unknown reason. Maybe not in South Africa, perhaps. Okay, global preview. Okay. Um, Justin, what school are you at? Sahiti, okay. Hmm. Wow. Are you perhaps, Justin, are you perhaps also going to the E2 um, Global? I thought your name looked familiar. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Wow. That is absolutely wonderful. So you and um, Freddie will be experiencing that wonderful vibe. Now I wonder what has happened to Freddy. Freddy, are you there? So Freddy's typing, let's see what he says. Sure, Justin, it's going to be an amazing experience. Amazing. To collaborate with all those teachers, innovative teachers. I wonder, what subject do you teach, Justin? Okay, the ICT manager, wonderful, hey? Wow. Now, Freddie, where are you? <laughs> um, no, I, I can't hear you. Can anyone else hear Freddie? I don't think so, because there's no microphone next to your name, there's, you know. Can you hear me? Ah, there you come. There you come. Yay, he's back. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Oh, that's, uh, that's great. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry for that uh, technical glitch. <laughs> These things happen. Okay. And uh, Justin, I'm looking forward uh, to be on the same plane with you. Yeah, isn't it exciting, two of you, <laughs> meeting online? Okay, I see uh, what Justin is speaking about there. Um, um, Microsoft uh, Classroom, it's um, one of the latest products. Uh, it's actually a learning management system. Uh, but um, um, for, for those who have got uh, Office 365, I'm sure you should be able to start using um, OneNote Class uh, Notebook because... I'm actually using it for all my uh, training sessions for the teachers, and um, it's working properly. Hmm. Well, um, Elsa B said, um, "Drop to Justin. Drop me a line, and uh, she'll help the help him get started with Microsoft Classroom." So that's quite amazing. That would be that would be great, and I will contact uh, Justin and uh, make sure I can even uh, share with uh, with Justin my uh, class notebook that I created. It's a math one, 
and I, I, I did import uh, content from GeoGebram, and it's actually working perfect. Now, does this work in conjunction with Microsoft Classroom? Um, yes, um, it works in conjunction with uh, Microsoft Classroom if you are going on um, a learner management system. But you can still use a uh, OneNote Class Notebook without uh, Microsoft uh, Classroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's hear the rest of your presentation. <laughs> okay, so I was speaking about uh, uh, the personal uh, workplace um, uh, where the learners uh, will be actually um, uh, working in uh, as individuals and uh, actually doing whatever they're doing in an, uh, uh, you know, sort of a private uh, workspace where other learners are not uh, able to actually see what's happening there. So um, uh, just to address the question there, um, you notice that on my uh, last uh, um, page there, uh, we're talking about the class uh, notebook uh, add-in. I think uh, that is the one that now uh, will work with the new uh, Microsoft uh, Classroom because uh, that uh, gives the teacher uh, the ability, you know, to create a page and section distribution, quick review of uh, student work and grading, and uh, actually aligning it with uh, the learning management system. But if uh, you don't have the um, uh, management, uh, learner management system, you can still just use um, OneNote uh, class uh, notebook for you to, uh, you know, actually get things going with your learners. It is working properly. I've tried it, and I think I've got uh, 10 uh, students, demo students that we created, and it's working perfectly. I would like to follow up with uh, Justin so that we can see uh, what is it that we can do uh, to create, um, you know, class notebooks with him and anybody else that is interested. I'm sure I can... Um, I can uh, take some questions. So, Freddie, the questions okay. will uh, be... There's a question. Uh... Sorry, I'm just sorry to butt in, but the questions, uh, uh, the participants can't use microphones, so the questions will all be in the question box. But my first question was, if you okay. do you have anything live to show us, like uh, in one note? Okay. Uh, what uh, What I can do is uh, maybe I can, um, uh, if I get the emails, I can uh, share with you because I had not uh, opened uh, my class notebook with me yet. Okay, thanks, uh, Fiona. Uh, I will uh, definitely email you, um, you know, um, screenshots, and uh, maybe I'll just record a few uh, of my uh, pages um, uh, that are actually uh, are working on the, the class notebook that I actually created. I think it would have been good. I was working with the 30 minutes um, that we were supposed to, to have, so I thought I wouldn't have time to get into the demo. Okay, but it's always good to actually see a dem of what you're doing, you know. So that will be good if you can share it. Does anyone else want to leave their their emails for um, Freddie to share an example of what he's been talking about? If so, just write them down. Yes, uh, Justin, I've got your email. Uh... And are they... Are there any other questions of something that struck you? Uh, something that I thought of, um, Freddie, was, so you've got OneNote 2016, yeah. say, and you're working in uh, Office 365, you still then have to go and add in that yeah. add-in, hey? You've got to go and yeah. add the add-in. And that's a, a simple is, process. Uh, yeah. You always have uh, okay. you know, uh, videos to actually 
show you uh, the next step and their you know explanations very very simple i tell you uh, you sit down for 30 minutes you'll be able to create uh, maybe uh, five or ten uh, uh, class notebooks i tell you that's how simple it is now if you share something with us and we haven't got that will we um will we be able to open uh, it um, thank you, Elsa B. Elsa B has to run. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, thank you, Elsa B. Uh, sorry, Freddy. Okay, let me read. Uh, there's a question there. Hey, this is, is this, um, oh, okay. Um, um, uh, Mike? Okay, so there's three people yes. that have given their, uh, just to to their um, just to addresses. To Michael? Uh, to Mike, yes, uh, okay. I'd, I'd love to uh, know uh, what subject uh, uh, Michael is uh, teaching. Uh, maybe then we can uh, look at um, how you can add uh, uh, value to the learning process. Because I'm, I'm someone with uh, all physical sciences. Oh, that's great. Uh, um, definitely, you are able to actually share videos. Um, I'm not so sure of uh, any interactive material in physical science, but in maths, I've been able to actually take, uh, you know, uh, some uh, snippets from uh, George Abram and actually put them on, um, you know, the collaboration space, and then I can actually um, show them, uh, you know, demonstrate things that I would uh, literally do when I'm on a board or when I'm on an uh, interactive whiteboard. So I think um, that's one of the values that you can actually... Uh, not just um, dump material, but you can use it to to demonstrate and show them, you know, videos. And actually, um, when you give them work, you can actually, you know, communicate with them in real time to say uh, maybe uh, this equation or this process you didn't uh, do it right. And then you have that collaboration with your with your learners and also group work among the learners. Hmm. I should imagine it would be a good way to distribute um, information as well and then have mark the learners' work online. Yes, you can actually do that. Um, Mike, is there anything else you'd like to ask Freddie? Did that clarify what you were asking? Okay, Mike's typing. Okay, so what I would do is uh, I'll use uh, Office Mix and, and record a so, video of my uh, own um, uh, class notebook and then share it uh, on email. Okay, that'll be nice. We'd really like to see it in, um, you know, an example like that. Yes, that'll yes. be awesome. I actually thought that I wouldn't g uh, get uh, enough time to, to get into that uh, by going through the slides and the process of actually creating. Okay. Um, right, well, I think everybody's got to finish now. So thank you very much to everybody for coming. And um, as I said, this will be on the SchoolNet blog tomorrow, the demonstration and the... And the um, recording and maybe if um, Freddie sends that office mix we can embed that as yes, well yes. Freddie in the in the post in the recording oh, blog post well thank you very much everybody for coming and thank you very much Freddie for um, sharing your knowledge with us and all the best to you and Justin as you head off to Canada wonderful thank you so much uh, Fiona for the opportunity Goodbye, everybody. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you, Freddie. Bye-bye.